what I've been experiencing here in Ecuador is just the rawness. It's very alive, it's very real. It's definitely a place for extreme adventure, I would say. There, you can do everything here. We are 3,380 meters over sea level. There are several mountains uh, with different technical levels. Such a diverse range of activities that you can do while you're in Ecuador. My absolute favorite has been horse riding. You know, it was really fantastic to get out on the horses, wear the traditional ponchos. That was a lot of fun. I mean, the landscape is just absolutely spectacular. The magical thing about the mountains, you know, is, is that they're so impressive, they're so mythical that will transform the way you see things after it. So one of our goals is to, to offer you legendary moments. Me and my clientele, we love to get up, we love to be active and be outside, and the hot springs were, were a lot of fun. Those are great after a long day of hiking. This train goes southwards from the capital of Quito, about 59 kilometers until the end station of Boliche. It's called the train of the volcanoes. People can admire the beautiful landscape of the snow cape volcanoes and experience some of the gastronomy of the regions, combined with some ecotourism and cultural activities that we do in the stations. The eastern side of the country where we are, we have this beautiful Amazon rainforest with a river down there like an apple. We have more than 400 species of mammals, 150 species of insects. And in terms of diversity of people, you know, we have 17 indigenous groups. There are so many birds in the country that you can go for a birding tour two or three weeks. You can see easily 500, 600 species of birds. The underlying theme of all of our itineraries is, is the wildlife experience. And already today, I know I have new partners. Virtually every place we went, there were these, you know, kind of this conservation of a way of life. And the only way that is going to be effective is if there's money attached to it. And tourism can do that. If you get clients into these places, it's an incentive for conservation. The Mashpee Lodge is one of the most amazing places I've ever been. To wake up in the morning and just have the jungle right there. The, the original concept of Mashpee started by thinking that this area is worth protecting. And then second was, all right, let's give people a chance to see that great biodiversity. Let's build something that is rewarding for clients. I love the rafting. That was so much fun. The nature, the culture, the gastronomy, and the adventure activities. Ecuador really has a great package with all of those and from what I can see, it really delivers. The most fun I've ever had at night in a colonial city. It was amazing. Everybody here is so kind and so humble and welcoming and warm and it just feels like home. I love Ecuador. I fell in love with it after about the fourth day. It just blew me away with the diversity. Ecuador means um, diversity. 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 You can just come to Ecuador and visit many places in, in one vacation. You can go to the hot springs, see the mountains that surround the place. The next morning you can still go to the Galapagos Islands or go to the beach or go to the jungle. It is amazing that you can do that in one day. If you are an adventurer, you have to come to Ecuador because here with all the diversity and all the, the types of terrain, you are going to have the experience of your life.